This video aims to resolve the error, error message seen when unzipping zipped files or expanding zip files. So um, you might see error expanding zip files on the Mac OS or unable to expand photos or zipped photo files into the directory. Um, it displays an error one message um, saying operation not permitted. So I'm going to click on the photo seven zip file that's been saved on my desktop so you have an idea um, of what the type of error message being displayed is. So in a couple of you know seconds, the error message is gonna get displayed and I'm gonna run you through how to um, troubleshoot the um, error. So we're pretty much waiting for the error um, to, um, to display. So, you know, we're plodding along at the moment up until when it displays, it should, should be anytime soon. And that's the um, error one message um, being displayed. Um, it indicates operation not permitted. So we're going to resolve this issue by clicking on the launchpad button, you know, at the bottom left. I click on that and we click on terminal. So we're going to, you know, run some um, codes on the terminal to troubleshoot. Basically, we're going to run some commands to delve in and, and to retrieve the corrupted file. And um, once we get the corrupted file, we'll run some other commands to extract or expand the file. Type in CD and hit enter. It takes us to the home directory, then type CD with a space bar and um, include desktop. That then we type in CD directory. This takes us to the home directory of the directory. Also include the necessary space bars, then subsequently type LS. Um, this is a command that shortlists um, the files in the um, directory. In this instance, photos seven, so we type ls and hit enter. So we have retrieved the file we want to unzip. So we copy that um, file name and type unzip spacebar photos 7 zip. So we paste the photo 7 zip after the spacebar and hit enter. So it doesn't like it, it's giving us a syntax error um, and an unexpected token. So it doesn't like the way the file has been named, not to worry. So we'd have to go back to the file and rename the file. So we'll rename it raven.zip. You know, I'm pretty sure that it's the um, the closed bracket that it doesn't like. So we've renamed it raven. And so let's let's go back to, um, to try and unzip, retrieve raven. So we type um, ls, um, it retrieves the file ra raven. Um, copy that, type unzip spacebar um, and paste the raven.zip just like we did before and that should start um, unzipping um, the files. So as you can see it's inflating the files which means it's expanding the files and you can see I've got multiple JPEG files um, in that file and MP4 files in that file and so on and so forth. So basically you can rename it, you know, you can name it, you could, if you've got a syntax error um, because of, you know, um, the way the file was was named, you can rename it, you know, with any other name, um, you know, and you should be fine. So it's expanding all of the files, as you can see. So it's, it's a very good way of retrieving um, your corrupted file. So basically, in a nutshell, we've we've used core command cd and another command ls, and the cd is a home directory core command, and the ls is a short listing um, command. And so basically what we've literally just done in the terminal is that we've used the core commands at top level to delve into or to retrieve the file at lower level. So at um, you know the home level, desktop level, directory level, and then the, the file before we expand the file, you know. Um, take note that the only thing that we kind of adjusted in the original file setting was that we, re we renamed the file to be Raven. Um, so if you accidentally open the file, a corrupted file which was in your file, and you want to, um, you know, take it back to how it looked originally, or you want to um, retrieve the original file, all you need to do is to click on any of the files or click on the Raven which we renamed and um, use Control Z on your computer, and that should bring back the original file which was expanded, just in case you accidentally opened the file which wasn't yours and you want to restore it, you know, back to the original um, setting. And for the non-technical audience, um, you know, you think about what you're doing. If you're using the CD command, which is your home directory command, 
make it bespoke to how you save the file on your desktop. So I save mine as directory. You might save yours as another name. So use that name that you saved your file as and you should be fine. So you can see with Control Z, we've retrieved the original photo 7 um, zip file that was renamed as Raven. And all we have to do is to click on the or select all of the um, inflated files and delete or move to trash if we want to restore it back to the original corrupted file. But I, thought, I doubt that you'd want to do that. You know, the aim was to actually expand or, um, re you know, restore or resolve the, the error that was being seen when we tried to expand the file. So personally, I wouldn't want to revert back to the error file. I would just... Um, you know, want to expand the files and, you know, um, re re repair the file. So we've restored the original um, corrupted file. And if you expand, it should give you the same error. And you should be able to uncorrupt or resolve the corrupted file by going through the troubleshooting steps that have been highlighted earlier in the video. So basically, we are retrieving the original um, corrupted file and hopefully by clicking on it it should give us the same error message that we experienced earlier um, so basically I've just run you through um, how to um, expand your files how to inflate them and if need be revert back to the original file so it, you know it's, it's really up to you the earlier error message to, should display anytime soon So this is just for information only. Um, um, thanks for listening. Make sure you like if this if you found this information useful, and um, don't forget to click the subscribe button so that you know as soon as new videos come in, you'd be first to um, to get the not notification button. Thanks for listening. Thanks for your help, and hopefully catch up with you soon. Bye bye. Bye for now. Bye.